you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are basically going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew our turtle neck jumpsuit without joining Tattoo neck jumpsuit without joining. So this form of jumpsuit, we are not having any joining at the waistline. So from your neck, which happens to be your turtle neck, up to your trouser legs, we don't have any joining at any point. And I know you guys are surprised and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed creating it. Please, in the course of this tutorial, if you have any question, feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or you have any video you want us to make okay so you can just put that in the comment section so earlier i posted a video on how to achieve your jumpsuits without joining and you guys really love it so much and i'm going to go ahead and put down the link of that video below if you haven't watched it please do that after watching this video so in that tutorial, I explained how to achieve your jumpsuits, basically your jumpsuits, your romper suits, without having any joining on your waistline. And that tutorial is so amazing. So, for, but for today's tutorial now, we want to achieve the turtle neck version of it without any joining at the waistline. Now, what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this? Your shoulder measurements, your bust, your waist, your hip, and of course your trouser length. Now, when I mean trouser length or your length, it simply means from your shoulder to your desired length, okay? It means from your shoulder to your desired length, wherever you want it to get up to. So let's go ahead now and calculate our basic measurements. So our shoulder measurement is 14 inches. 14 divided by 2, we have 7 inches. Our bust is 36. 36 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 11 inches. Our waist is 30. 30 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 9.5 inches. Our hip is 40, 40 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 12 inches. Our trouser length is 58, and that is why I said that when I mean trouser length, I mean like from your length, like from your shoulder to your desired length, okay? So we have 58 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance, we have 60 inches. So basically, these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this style. But because what we want to achieve is our turtle neck, and this form of style, you are going to basically add to your allowance. Now, in order for you to determine what part of, of the body am I adding my allowance to, you are basically using like the largest part of your body. And for me, looking at this um, measurements, you will you will agree with me that the highest part of my body is actually my hip. So I'm going to be adding to my hip measurement and we are basically going to be using our hip measurement to achieve this style. And this is to say that because we are making use of our hip measurement, we really don't need our waist measurements and our bust measurements. But however, the reason why I went ahead to calculate this is so that you can determine where you have your highest measurement because that is what you are going to make use of. So the number of inches you add to this totally depends on how free is going to be, right? And how free it is makes it more beautiful, okay? So go ahead and add inches to it. And like I said earlier, the inches you add depend on you. So you can add 8 inches, 9, 10... You know, the more you add to it, the more rich auntie vibes you have and the more beautiful and unique your trouser end up. Another thing is that if you are looking out for styles to add to your ready-to-wear collection, I recommend this style. And the reason why I said I recommend this style is because because you are adding so much inches to your allowance, it kind of like fits um, people of different sizes, right? So for an example now, my hip is 40 inches, but we'll end up adding about 10 inches to it. It simply means that for people with like people that have hip 40 to 50 this style is going to fit them their same dress is going to fit them because we are adding extra 10 inches to it but the fitness of this might just be a little bit free for some and some is going to be very big i don't know if you guys get what i'm trying to say but i recommend this style for your ready to wear collection actually so now i'm going to go ahead now and add about 10 inches to my hip so what I have now is 12 plus 10, I have 22 inches. So 
for the wideness now of my hip measurement, I'm going to make use of 22 inches. In the course of this tutorial, please, if you have any question, feel free to drop it in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. And don't forget to join us on Facebook, to the designs, on Instagram. See designs and also visit our website. One amazing thing you guys don't know about our blog is that we have fashion topics. I basically explain how to sew different styles on our blog with detailed illustration. And another advantage of it is that you can basically print out the pattern. So I recommend you guys to please check it out in the description box below. Now, another thing again about this style is the kind of fabric you have to use. So for this style, you have to use like soft fabric. You can use your chiffon, your crepe, your silk. Fabrics that are actually soft so that it can flow well on the body and give you this rich anti-vibes, you know? <laughs> so basically, you are using like a very soft kind of fabric. African print is a no-no for this style, okay? Because you are not going to have a very good effect. But soft fabric like silk, chiffon, crepe, you know, you are going to have your rich antsy vibes. So now, let's go ahead now and move to the cutting part of this tutorial. Now we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into four, but because when I chalk this fabric, I'm not sure you guys can really see it. Let me know if you guys can see it clearly. So I'll go ahead now and use another fabric to illustrate it while I will transfer it on this fabric. Piece of this fabric, to illustrate it but I'm going to cut it out on that other fabric so I've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into four right after folding my fabric into four we are basically going to take our basic measurements and what we have for our basic measurements now is shoulder to arm o shoulder to arm o nine inches shoulder to arm o nine inches so this will serve as our bust, bust to waist, 8 inches, bust to waist, 8 inches, waist to hip, 9 inches. I have a detailed video where I explained like distance calculation, distance from your bust to your waist, waist to hip, waist to your knee length. And I'm going to go ahead and put down the link in the description box. So go ahead and watch that video in order for you to know where to mark your hip, where to mark your waist, where should you have your knee length and all of that. So now we have our waist to hip, 9 inches, right? Now from waist to knee length, waist to knee length, I have 18 inches. Waist to knee length, I have 18 inches. Now, I know that you guys might be asking that, how will you get your flap? Because basically for your trousers, you need to have like your flap measurement. So, this is our knee length now. Go ahead and come down with about 2 inches from your knee length. And this is because so that we can have ease around the lower part. So that this part of your cross line doesn't get too tight. So, you go ahead now and mark 2 inches or 3 inches. It depends on what you want. So... This is basically what we have. Now, we went ahead now to fold our fabric with our hip measurement, which is 22 inches. So, I made this of my hip measurement now to fold my fabric, and we have 22 inches. Now, what we are going to do now is to go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurement. And don't forget that what we want to achieve is our total neckline. So, we go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurement, which is 7 inches. This is our, our shoulder measurement. Okay. So we've gone ahead now to mark our shoulder measurement, which is 7 inches. And this is basically what we have for our basic measurement. Now, for the deepness of your neckline, now we want to get our neckline. For the deepness of your neckline, we basically just go ahead now and mark 1 inch. Because what we have is thought to neck. What we have is total neck. So I just marked one inch and then connect it to where we have our shoulder measurement. So now we are going to go ahead with our pattern master and pattern masters are available at our store. I'll go ahead and put down the details in the description box if you want to get yours. So you connect now your shoulder measurement to what you have for your bust measurement. So just in case if you want to have like, you want your bust to be a little bit fitted, right? You don't want it to be as free as your hip measurement. You can just reduce what you have for your bust. 
so you can just reduce your bust with about three inches on your waistline also you just reduce with about three inches that is if you want your bust and your waist to be a little bit fitted okay if you want that you can just reduce about three inches but note that it is not fitted at all you are not going to have like a basic measurement because one as essence of this style is that it should be free but just in case you just want to have like a little freeness around the bust and the waist area you can just deduct three inches from there or two inches now you go ahead now and connect what you have on your bust line to your shoulder measurements your bust line to your shoulder measurements and i'll make use of my pattern master to connect this right i'll make my pattern master to connect this line so we'll go ahead now and connect this If you are making use of fabrics that are very soft, you have to be very careful so that it doesn't shake off. Okay, and don't forget to please give this video a thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button. It's actually very free. So, this is what we have. This is basically what we have. Now, another thing I'm going to say that if you don't want to have pleating around your turtle neck area, right? Probably you don't want to have so much pleating around your turtle neck area because it's turtle neck. You can decide to reduce what you have for your shoulder measurement. This is optional, right? You can decide to reduce what you have for your shoulder measurement. So our shoulder measurement now we have seven inches. You can reduce it to five inches. That is just deduct about two inches from your shoulder measurement. So if you reduce this now with about two inches, what you are going to do now is you basically connect what you have here to your bust line. So let's just go ahead now and connect that. So basically connect it. That is if this is what you want to achieve. Whichever one you want, you still arrive at the same answer. Now we are through with our upper bodies and this is what it looks like. So let's move to the lower part where we have our jumpsuits. And don't forget that this form of jumpsuits, we don't have any joining at all, right? Now, let's come down to where we have our length. Okay, let me move it up a little. Okay, now this is where you have your length. This is basically where you have your length. On this part now, you go ahead now and mark three inches. Go ahead and mark three inches or three and a half inches. It depends on you. So let's go with three and a half inches. So we've marked three and a half inches at this point. Okay, it's showing. We've marked three and a half inches at this point. So what you are going to do now is to go ahead now and connect your three inches to your flap line. And how did we get this flap line? On our knee line, we came down with two inches, and I said you can come down with two or three inches from your knee line. Okay, so this is my knee line. I marked two inches below my knee line. On my length, now we went ahead to mark three inches or three and a half inches, and then you connect what you have here to your flap line. So you're basically going to connect it this way. It's actually very easy to achieve, guys. So just connect it this way to give it like a what shape is this so we are basically just connecting it let me just um make sure you guys can see it yes so this is what it looks like so you've gone ahead now to connect this and you are basically going to cut this out you are basically going to cut this out so by the time you cut this out you are going to have i'm going to show you guys what it looks like so guys, I've gone ahead now to transfer it to the initial fabric and after cutting it out, this is basically what we have. So you can see like our arm hole. So this will serve as your arm hole because it's a turtle neck. And then you can see our neckline. We went ahead to deduct about one inch for this part and then I reduced what I have for my shoulder measurements. Now for the lower part now, for the lower part where we have our length, Okay, for the lower part where we have our length, you will discover that I've also gone ahead now to cut out that triangle shape. Is it triangle shape? <laughs> Comments below what shape is it? So we've gone ahead now to cut out the shape and this is what we have. So let me go ahead now and open this up. So by the time, 
So by the time you open this up, this is what you are going to have. So you can see that you have your flap already. I hope you guys are excited. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. So you can see that we have our flap already. You can see and you can see that this is where you are going to fit in one of your legs and then you have your other leg at this part and you can see that it also serves as palazzo because it's actually very free and it's not fitted at all so you still have like your palazzo effect for your jumpsuit so and this is what we have i hope you guys are enjoying the tutorial so you can see the flap now now for the upper part now this is what we have this is what we have for the upper part. Let me zoom out. Okay. So for the upper part now, this is basically what we have. You can see our neckline and then this will serve as your armhole. It's actually very, very easy to achieve. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch this up together. But before then, go ahead now and separate your front block from your back block. Go ahead and separate your front block from your back block. And this is basically just setting one piece aside for your front. And then you set the other piece aside for your back. I'm going to make use of this part now for my back block. And because what you want to achieve is your turtle neck, Without having an opening at the back block, you might not be able to fit into this um, style because of course it is touch to neck so you have to have like an ease where you can actually put on your clothes. And in order for you to achieve that now, go ahead now and fold it again into two. I want to fold this into two and we are basically going to be open this up. Now the reason why we are opening this up is because we have to fix in our zipper and this is because what we have here is touch to neck. However, you should also consider the fact that we've added so much allowance to it already and that is why we did not bother to add our zip allowance because we added about 10 inches which is a whole lot so by the time you still take off your zip allowance you still have like your measurements going to fit in well okay now so guys we've gone ahead now to cut out the back block and of course because we want to fit in our zipper to it we are going to have two pieces for the back block so we'll go ahead now and set this sewing parts of this we want to couple this up it's actually very easy to achieve that what you are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and fix in our zipper at the back block after fixing your zipper you will go ahead now and stitch this all the way to this part you are basically stitching it all the way to this part and don't forget that at this lower part is where you have like your flap you are not closing your flap so once you fix your zip up to this point right you just go ahead now and stitch this part up to this part and then you see have your trousers part you know open so guys we've basically gone ahead now to attach our back block and then we have a single piece so the next thing we are going to do, don't forget that you are fixing your zipper to the back block. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and place your front block on your back block this way. Once you place it, you go ahead and stitch one inch on both sides. Now the reason why you are not making use of your measurements is because this form of jumpsuit is actually very free and we added about 10 inches to our basic measurement right so just go ahead and stitch one inch on both sides all the way down now at this lower part here where we have okay i hope you guys can see it so at this lower part now where we have our flap effect you are basically going to stitch this this way Okay, you are basically going to stitch this this way. After stitching it, go ahead and notch it and then you flip it to the back. So once I'm... So guys, now we've gone ahead now to join this and you can see what it looks like. So we've gone ahead now to stitch this and then you've notched it and it has laid well. So this is basically what the lower side of our trousers looks like. And you can see like your round lap where you have your round foot to serve as your palazzo and all of that so you've also gone ahead now to join the sides together right and this is what we have so our jumpsuit is almost ready the next thing we have to do now is to basically fix in our round neck or the choker so in order for you to do that you have to take your round neck measurements so note that when you place your tape measure on the round neck it shouldn't be too tight like 
don't choke the person this way okay so try to like loosen it up a little and make sure it's free enough so that the person can actually breathe well and your clothes can be comfortable okay so just go ahead and place your tape measure on your neck this way and this is what you have so when it's free, you make sure the person can breathe in and out, and then you check out what we have. So I have 15 inches for my round neck, okay? I have 15 inches for my round neck. So we are going to go ahead now and cut out our round neck. So I'll be making use of another fabric to achieve that. And of course, we have 15 inches for the round neck. Go ahead and add about two inches for your sewing allowance of three inches right now for the wideness of what we have for the wideness of what we have so go ahead and mark one and a half inches so on a single fold this way you are going to have three inches but because you are going to double it up this way just to give it some form of structure go ahead and mark one and a half inches so i'll go ahead now and trim this off to give me one and a half inches i'm done with that this is what it looks like on a single fold this way i have three inches and once you fold it i have one and a half inches and for the length we have 15 inches for our round neckline i added two inches to it so i have 17 inches for the length and to this upper part where you have your where you have your turtle neck, right? That is what we want to achieve. So you can make use of your exact fabric, okay? But just to spice it up a little, so I'm making use of a different form of fabric. So in order for me to achieve that now, this is our fabric here. Go ahead and fold it into two, and then you notch your midpoint, okay? Fold your fabric into two, and then you notch where you have as your midpoint. So because you've notched that now, this is basically what you have. So it means that you half of this part should be for the back block and half of this should be for the front block so that it can sit properly on the neck. Now you will discover that, you will discover that, okay, that what we have here is more than what we have for the band. So basically when you place it here, you go ahead and pleat it on it. If what you have is more than your band, don't worry. Just go ahead and place it on it to fit into this band because this is this band that's actually going to sit on the neck. So if what you have here is more than your band, you go ahead now and place it on it, okay, especially at the middle point, just to give it like this shape, okay, which is actually very cute also, just to give it something like this. Let me zoom it in just to give it like this pleated shape around this area that is if what you have here is more than your neck but if that so guys for the lower part now you can see your trousers this mannequin is not doing justice to it but this is what your lower part looks like upper part you can see what we have we have our turtle neck your arm oh and then we're able to achieve this without having any joining at the waistline amazing right if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please drop your questions in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe what are you waiting for guys click on that red button and subscribe to my channel and then i'll see you guys in my next one bye